Good afternoon everyone, just wanted to do a wee kind of supplementary video, just as a bit of a reaction to the news we had yesterday, the summer promotions and everything, I put a wee tweet out yesterday just saying basically I was a wee bit underwhelmed, I thought there would have been a bit more, um, I'll kind of get into that, so you've all received an email, if you've not had a good look at the email, um, go and dig it out, um, it was in my promotions file on my Gmail, so it might not be in your main inbox, but you'll find it there somewhere. And it just gives you a full breakdown of everything they did in their little YouTube video, for how it's all going to work and everything as well, okay, now, what you really need to think of, it's called a trading bonus, okay, which is very clever, very, very clever, okay, now, it's not really a trading bonus, okay, um, it's, as you can see from the little gif they've got going on here in the video, it's your net buys, okay, so, Let's have a look at my portfolio as an example, okay? So, at the top there, you'll see my value is 1718, right? So, if I sell all that, then my sales are 1718 minus... And, and then, yeah, my sales will be 1718, okay? But I'm actually going to end up with 2% less because of the commission. So, if I then buy, with all that money, I'll be buying 2% less than what I've sold. So, my net buys will be minus 2%, okay? I've not done all the maths on the the physical numbers, but that's basically where it's going to equate to, okay? So what this bonus actually is, is a kind of deposit bonus, but what they're stopping you from doing is withdrawing your money and then depositing it back in to kind of, you know, play them off their own promotion. So the best advice I can give you to make advantage of, especially the part one section that started yesterday at midday and runs to the end of this month, is don't sell anything that you, you don't need to or you're not in a rush to. Keep everything and make sure you can deposit as much as you possibly can over the next two weeks. And then once we get to the end of that deposit bonus at the end of the month, then, you know, as many you might want to sell and do transactions, you get that free money off them um, and you can invest that however you want. Obviously, dividends plays a part in this as well. So again, if you didn't deposit anything and you made, let's say, £10 on dividends just as an example just to give you an easy number and you then took that 10 percent dividends and you bought 10 of somebody who's a pound your net it buys would be 10 pound you know if you didn't sell or didn't buy anything you just reinvested your dividends so then your deposit and then the, your trading bonus you would get would be 10 percent of that 10 pound which would be a quid okay so your dividends you're going to gather over the next two weeks are going to be very important and all the money you can deposit for part one and part two, depend. You, you might prioritize part two over part one. You may want to do that, or um, or whatever. You know, it's, it's your strategy and everything, guys. But as I say, it's called a trading bonus. I don't want you to get confused and think, oh, if I do lots of trades and I do well, so I've got my thirty Ronaldo that I bought at two thirty two. If I sell that today at two fifty two, then I reinvest that, then I'll put my my net buys up. No, that'll put your net buys down by two percent because I'm selling. £77.10 minus 2%. So let's just do the maths, right? So I sell um, 77.10 of Ronaldo, okay? What will hit my balance will be that. So when I then buy that, um, that's my net buys is going to be 77.2 times um, 0.98. So my net buys would be, min you know, what's the difference? So, equals minus 77.10. So my net buys would be minus pound fifty four. okay? So you know it's called a trading bonus. Please don't start, especially if this part one, now don't get me wrong, if you were to liquidate your stock between now and the end of this month and just keep that cash balance and then you bought everything for part two, and that's why the part two, in my opinion, is just a 5% bonus so you don't play the game off them too much, if that makes any kind of sense. Um, and I'm sure you guys will be, you, you guys are just as smart as I am, if not smarter, probably are smarter. <laughs> then um, you might find a point where you can basically liquidate your stock before the end of this month, have money sitting there, and then just buy it, buy all your stock on something that you can, you're comfortable sitting on for media bonuses or whatever. Wait till the end of the qualifying period in part two, get your 5% bonus. And then, you know, you've got free money to tick along from there. But what they're basically doing is they're controlling the footy movement. So you can see the footy's up 2,000 points, 2,500 points today, okay? So because it's on net buys, what they're stopping people or the market doing is withdrawing vast sums of money when it's just about media over the summer, you know, because they're keeping everyone incentivized to deposit and buy, deposit and buy, okay? So it's important you understand the rules of engagement on this and uh, how it's all kind of panning out. The media bonus itself, it's nice that they're doing top five. Um, like I speculated on the channel, I thought they might have done a bonus for like if 
you got over 2,000 points, you might have had an extra dividend, or even if you hit 1,000 points, they would pay on anyone. You know, they might have been seventh place, but if there were seven people on 1,000 points or more, they might have paid everyone out at a certain rate, depending on how many winners there were, or something like that. Other guys speculated that there might be a transfer angle on it. But that's just so much admin, you know, see for the people to, to rake through all the media that they, that they, they, they collate to see, oh, that's a transfer story, that's a personal story, that's a performance story, you know, that would just be too much. I'm not surprised they didn't do that kind of thing. Uh, I'm surprised at just how kind of basic they've changed the media for the summer. It's pretty straightforward, it's pretty simple and it's nice, don't get me wrong, it makes a lot more people a lot more attractive, especially guys like Ronaldo who are always in the press and even if Ronaldo's not in the top three, you know, you can bet your bottom dollars in the top five, just as an example. And then some of these guys who might be doing transfers and um, we'll look at my portfolio for an example, but let's say Andre Kramer, it's just because he's just came to my eye there, say he transfers from Hoffenheim to, let's say, well, let's just say he went to Tottenham. He might not be the biggest story of the day. He'll probably be top five, you know, in that scenario for a couple of days. You know, the day before he signs, the day he signs, the day he comes out with the shirt and the pictures, you know. So it, it does help transfers get um, media bonus, even though they might not be a star name. They might not be a Neymar or, you know, a Sterling or a Hazard, these types of people. Okay, so it's like in a, a wee bit of a damp squid on some fronts, but if you play it smart, you've, you've got a good opportunity to just get some free bonus money off them but I don't want you to think of this as what they're calling it a trading bonus I want you to think of this as a deposit bonus okay because it's on your net buys so really you need to really restrict your sales in any qualifying period you want to take advantage of both of them one of them make your mind up as early as you can plot it out in the calendar when do you get paid when do you have excess money what's the best one for you to take advantage of is it part two right okay well I want to liquidate some of my stock Closer to the time, give yourself a bit of chance to make as much money as possible or you're in a great position of profit, I'll just sell the now. These are the types of things you need to really spend a good bit of time on and really plot out your strategy for the next, um, for both these qualifying periods between now and when does part two finish? Part two pays out on the 1st of July, so it must be for the full of June then, yeah. Um, so you really need to you really need to plot your your money now. You really need to have a good bit of money management when you deposit and when you withdraw, on, guys. Okay, I'll be dropping a video later on. I'm kind of between work and now doing different things on fantasy football. How we did on match day two. Um, please comment below, guys. I'm really interested in what your thoughts are. Are they different to mine? Are they the same as mine? What do you think of the news? Um, if you're new around here, subscribe. I just want to do actually a quick thank you, guys. We've just hit a massive milestone today uh, on the channel. We have now just got to. 250 subscribers so thank you very much guys it means so so much to me all the comments and likes and everything guys honestly it means so much to me you've got no idea our 250th subscriber was bmhd so thank you buddy you made my morning when i seen that come in 36 minutes ago so thank you very much guys um i hope um the weekend was good to you if i didn't say that yesterday i think i probably did i hope you're set for the champions league it's going to be a massive week uh stay out of trouble guys like share subscribe all that good stuff and i'll catch you on the next one take care bye bye